Did I not hear men's voices singing? Yes, your ladyship. A London servant from the inn has been passing the hour with scrub, and your son has joined them in their drinking, purely for medicinal purposes, I'm sure. You make fun, daughter Sullen, but singing and drinking go well together, and singing is good medicine. It eases the doldrums and has a healing power. I sometimes sing to my patients, and it works such wonders that they beg me to stop after just a few notes. Saving your presence! Where? Where's Lady Bountiful? Uh, madam, my master is in distress, and the fame of your ladyship's charity and skill have drawn me hither to employ your ladyship's help. Why, sir, what is the matter? I fear that my unfortunate master is this minute breathing his last. Well, master, where is he? Scrub! At your gate, madam. Drawn hither by the appearance of your handsome house, he came up the avenue to view it nearer, and was taken ill of a sudden with a sort I know not what, and there he lies. Scrub! Scrub! Oh, is your master used to these fits? Oh, yes, madam. Frequently I've known him to be unconscious for whole nights at a time. Is it chillblains, think you? Is he stiff and rigid? As a plank, madam. Oh, I was afraid of that. I may have to remove his liver. Are his digits swollen up like hams? Do his eyes bulge, secreting a yellow pustular material? Exactly so, but God's breath, madam, he's a dying. I mean, his care and neglect may save or destroy his life. Yes, madam. Run into the avenue where you'll find a gentleman and bring him here. Quickly! It could be rampant alopecia meningus, or my own discovery, Peloponnesus aquaticus, or Greek water disease. Oh, come with me. I'll see him brought in myself. <laughs> Why, sister, how can you mm. laugh when the poor gentleman, whoever he is, may be dying at this very moment? Aye, aye, the poor gentleman. Did you not shudder to hear of those nights when he is without consciousness, whatever? Sister, I have a sort of prophetic fit, and I think I can tell you, the man will live. 